we're not just a bunch of rednecks from off of the ranch that get rounded up to go to the rodeo anymore and get on these wild beasts. We're actually dedicated rodeo athletes. Um, anybody at our level of competition, you know, the top 20 guys in the world, uh, we eat clean and we have sports nutrition programs and I'm in, I'm in an extensive um, strength and conditioning program here in Houston at Memorial Home and Ironman Center. Um, we have, you see the bucket machine in there. We train, I train on the bucket machine every day, and it's it's not a it's not a life of partying and and poisoning your body. It's 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 dedication to get to the next rodeo. You have to be financially frugal and and physically aware of of yourself, and so that you can be the best uh, rodeo machine, bareback riding machine that you can be. Um, I'm 32 years old, and so bareback riding is being so physically demanding is considered a younger man's game, and so I know that. And I've been a professional cowboy for 10 years now, so I fully take responsibility that I have to work harder and train faster, and train work harder and train harder and be faster and stronger than my competition. And that's something I take pride in. So as long as my body and God will allow me to do what I do. I can keep rodeo on professionally and I can keep sharing my testimony to help try to inspire somebody.